Hi there, welcome to Active Lessons with myself. We are going to look at transfer functions. How would you solve this using Octave? Take this dynamic model we have in series, in parallel, and feedback. Disclaimer alert or spoiler alert, I'm using Octave free version, so I do not have function parallel on my package. We know that from post control that a dynamic model is represented in this method or in this format here, equation. The parallel dynamic model is represented using this equation and your feedback is represented using this equation here. So what if you want to use Octave to solve this process control transfer function? We both know G1 and G2 presented using these equations here and we want to solve for series using Octave as well as feedback. Also, if it's a negative feedback system, how would you compute this into Octave? Well, let's go and see. I know this might look very, very complicated. This is me just trying to be more detailed and self-explanatory. So let's look at our first, first function um, in series. If you're using MATLAB, you might want to use this programming method over here. But now that we're using Octave, we are going to use this programming method over here. So we are going to say G1, transfer function, its numerator over its denominator represented in this method, input U1 and the output represented as Y1. G2, we have our transfer function, its numerator, its denominator, and we want to represent the system in a form of series. Run the file to see our first part of the example. And here we go. The transfer function input U1 to output is represented in this method. Basically, Octave just did this for you. Same thing, but this time you want to represent using feedback. This is our answer. Octave just did this for us. And lastly, let's look at if it's a negative feedback function. Same method, the only difference is we are going to include negative one for the negative feedback. Run the file, and here's your Y3. Basically, Octave just did this for you. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. 